Are you listening? Ricky J Sports. Hey, what's going on, my fellow YouTubers? It's your Fight Camp coach, Ricky J from Ricky J Sports. I hope everyone's doing well. And this video is a video on some tie clinch secrets. And if you haven't seen it yet, I did a video on some really cool tie clinch submissions. And check it out in the link in the top right hand corner. But I got some other tie clinch secrets and let's get right into it right now. All right, let's break it down, especially for the beginners out there. To clinch, simply push right analog towards your opponent. Then to get the tie clinch, hold right or left with the right analog to secure it. And then push L1 and kick to strike to the face and L2 and kick to strike to the body. Now the good guys will be able to block it online, but the bad guys that you play online will just be eating knees to the face and you will get the victory. Now here's a trick for you. When you are close to the cage and your opponent's close to the cage, just simply push right analog towards them and you'll secure the Muay Thai clinch right away. This is great because you skip a step. You don't have to go to the basic clinch and then go right into the Thai clinch. You just can grab onto him and start wailing on him with your knees. Make sure you diversify the area where you're striking because if you keep on going to the face, like I said, the good guys will look for the lock or the reversal but if he pushes you off simply just push right analog stick towards him and then continue with your devastating strikes anderson silva style on rich franklin remember that i felt so sorry for rich franklin's nose man even in the second fight i'm like you could beat rich franklin but just don't rearrange his nose again here's an example of that online i was playing this guy online and for some reason he just kept on staying in the perimeter of the octagon and that was easy pickings for me because I just clinched up with him gave him a nice little knee and then finished him off on the ground and I was so happy try it out you know even I'm not saying to just go with the clinch right away go with the tie clinch right away but diversify your strikes and then if your opponent gets near the cage go for the tie clinch and try to land those devastating strikes and again like I said the really good guys out there will block usually strikes to the head so go to the body here and there and see if you could use the Muay Thai clinch to your advantage especially when guys are up against the cage because I find that when guys are up against the cage they're really not really mobile and they can't really circle away from the cage if you are pressing them up against it and I also use left the left stick to push them up against the cage and then start wailing away with some devastating knees and a lot of the times the guy is not completely out like um, in certain cases so once he's out you just go and just pounce on top of him and go for that beautiful ground and pound and take him out so anyhow people it's a nice little subtle tip with respect to the Muay Thai clinch but it does work so to recap if your opponent is up against the cage, just push right with the right analog stick to get that Muay Thai clinch instantly and then feed him with some knees. Anyhow, people, this is Ricky J from Ricky J Sports. Thank you so much for watching this video. Also, the Ricky J MMA League is a great prediction league that I do with my buddies and subscribers. And season two is ending. We have one more event, but season three will be starting in April. All you need to do is when I make a prediction video, just predict the co and main event of the respectable UFC event and you can gain some really cool points and then eventually you could win some cool prizes. So hopefully you guys will join us season three or you can join in on the last event of season two just to get some warm ups in. Anyhow people, this is Ricky J from Ricky J Sports. I really appreciate you all. You guys are the best. You are awesome.